What's up guys, Brandon Slavinsky here, and this is an awesome tutorial video. You remember when you saw Austin Powers and then Dr. Evil and Little Mini Me were just playing piano and he was like, what if God was one of us? Okay, so we're learning that song today. I know, sometimes I just teach these for my own entertainment. Um, so we're gonna start off with the, uh, it's kind of a, like a verse, right? And uh, just so you know, I'm gonna teach it in a beginner style, show you a couple advanced techniques so that you can just get that cool feel for the song. So, we're gonna start off with an E minor. And that's zero, oh, capo on second fret, just so you know, capo on second fret, zero, two, two, zero, zero, zero. And then a C add nine. It's gonna be mute, three, two, zero, three, three and then a G, and that's gonna be three, two, zero, zero, three, three, and then a D, which is gonna be mute, zero, zero, two, three, two. So, we're gonna go through these chords, right? Say that you're just strumming it. So this would be for like beginners. Okay, so just. So for advanced players. So just like that, that's gonna be pretty much what you're gonna do. So to do that, you're gonna go with that E minor first, and then you're gonna take your ring finger and put it on the second fret of the high E string, and you're gonna go from your ring to your pinky, onto the third fret, and then open to that C position, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm doing like this open C, which is uh, mute, three, two, zero, zero, zero. And then I'm doing a standard C where I'm adding my index finger on the B string, first fret. And then my pinky up to the third fret on that same string. Beginners, this might be a little confusing, but if you watch the video a couple times, you'll get it. Open. And then just a regular G. And then when you do the D, you have to, to get that transition into the E minor. You're gonna lift your finger up and then press back on for that high E string on the second fret. And then we go to the E again. See, because then we kind of get both parts, both guitar parts in there all at once, and you get that lead line so you can hear that, what if God was one of us? So then, that's the verse, right? Then she goes into this like pre-chorus slash chorus where it's going to be a C, mute, three, two, zero, three, three, well, a C at nine. Yeah, yeah, to a G, God is to a D, great. So we're going from that C at to the G to the D. C add, G, D, C add, yeah, yeah, and then to a D, yeah, yeah, yeah. What if God was one of us? To the E minor, to the C add nine, G, D, and just if you want to make it so that you're like mobile and you can move very freely for beginners, zero, two, two, zero, three, three. And you literally practically keep your fingers there the same time, out like all at once. Through the C, to the G, and then to the G. Just a song like one of us. Just a stranger on the bus, just trying to make his way.
So just like that, you've learned all you need to know for Joan Osborne's What If God Was One of Us. Now, don't forget, if you're an advanced player, then you should be able to arpeggiate through the chords like they have, just playing through it. And then uh, be sure to watch that verse part so you can learn the... Because it's pretty dope. So till next time, be sure to watch the practice video and we'll see you there. Peace. Thank you so much for joining us today. Be sure to check out our other awesome tutorial videos and uh, add us on Facebook. Add me on Facebook or Twitter at Calistory. And if you have any requests, send them to requests at mahalo.com.